Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is Krishna. Today I'm going to show you how to unlock your Excel workbook and sheets which are password protected and you don't know the password. So remember it's a sheets and the workbooks. There are two levels. You can lock your worksheet and uh, workbook and if you forgot your password or you got a file from somebody else and you want to unlock it. So this is the way. Let's see how it works. So this is a sample file and I have not saved it yet. And uh, let me lock it first. So I'm going to lock the sheet. That's sheet 1. And I will say the password, give the password. Remember, these two should be checked. Uh, and by default, every cell in Excel is locked. Okay. If you want more information, check out my channel. I have a video for that. Okay. Confirm the password again. So now I have locked the sheet. Okay, remember, I just locked one sheet, sheet one. Sheet two is still unlocked. Okay, that's my password. Okay, now I have locked no set. Yeah, type. Okay. Should say unprotect. Let me save and come back. So I have protected the sheet and protected the workbook. Sheet one is protected. Okay. So you will not be able to change anything, though you're able to see the content. All right. You cannot add anything as the workbook is locked. Okay. Let me save this. Book one. For simplicity, I'm saving it as book one. Yep. So it is asking for password. So okay. So yeah, basically the sheet one and the workbook are protected now. So okay, let me open this again. Okay, go to review. See everything here is disabled. That means you're not able to edit this file. And here it is. If you click, it will ask for password. And if you click, it will ask for password because it is protected. So now let's see how do you get it. And you don't remember the password. Okay, step one, make a copy because it's very important because you may lose the file. If it's important, you may not be able to get it back. This is very, very important. Make a copy and the copy leave it aside. Now, book one, rename this to dot zip. Okay, and confirm. See the format, I mean the change, icon change to zip. Zip, or let it was uh, the Excel stuff. Okay, and one more thing, if you're not able to see the extension, go to view, options, change the folder options and view here it is hide the extension for known file types that means maybe by default it is enabled or you have enabled it you won't be able to see the extension that means it will show only book one iphone copy the excel sx won't be there so you have to enable that to change the uh, file extension okay now Open this file. Remember, you're not extracting, you're opening the file. Okay, go to Excel. Okay, so here you see bunch of XML files. The first one you have to work on is the workbook.xml. Copy this, come back to your folder, paste it here. Okay, now. Edit this file in a notepad. I'm selecting notepad plus plus. Okay, here search for string protection. Here it is. So now this entire section is for the protection. This entire section, right? If you know how to work on XML file, it will be easy for you. So this is the opening tag and this is the end tag. So this should match. So now you have to take out this entire stuff. 
okay search for the string protection and identify the start and end tag for this xml tag okay so there is a way to view this file i mean it looks better in notepad it looks all right so in uh, the internet explorer you see here this is the corresponding uh, text or string line you have to take out from here to here okay let's go back to the notepad so this is the workbook protection and then i'm going to take out this entire stuff delete so save close it yes save it now copy this back to your original location inside the zip Okay, please. Okay, as you expected, it will ask for, for the replace art. Don't copy. So select the first option that is replace. Okay, so you have edited the file. So cross check this now. No, it's not there, right? The production is not there. Workbook protection tag is now not there. Close it. Let's check the file or okay. So we just unlock the workbook. Now we have to unlock the worksheet. So now uh, inside the zip, okay, inside the zip, open the uh, Excel and then worksheets. So you will see multiple uh, XML files. So as we had two sheets, so correspondingly we have two sheets in XML. So the content was in sheet 1.xml. I'm going to copy this back to my folder anywhere outside of your zip. Okay, again, open this in a notepad. So notepad plus plus is good for me. I'm going to use that. Okay, search for the sheet protection. Here it is. Similarly, check out this section. Make sure that you only take out the corresponding start and end tag, otherwise you will lose the file. Yes, save it. Okay. Confirm that the changes are effective. Yes, I don't see the workbook protection here. Close the file and place this back into your zip folder replace double check once more yep the protect worksheet protection is not there so we are good to go back to your folder and then Rename this back to Excel file. That is Excel SX. Excel SX. Remember, you, your file is a macro enable. The extension will change. So basically, you have to change back to the original extension. If it is the Excel SX, you have to change back to Excel SX. Okay. Now you have unlocked the sheet and the workbook. Let's open it. Okay, yep. So here we go. See, the sheet is unprotected, the workbook is unprotected. You can add any number of sheets and you can edit the content as well. You can save as well. Sorry, friends, this is how you. Unlock the protected sheets and the workbook. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to my channel and check out my channel for more useful videos on office automation. Thanks and see you later.